direct and manage project work. So this is the process after we complete making the project management plan, we kind of start working on what we had planned. So in this process, we'll try to understand how do we direct and manage the project work. We'll also look into some of the important concepts of PMP examination. I'll take an example of a website development from my career, and then we'll talk about like uh, what all happens in this process for direct and manage project work. Let's get started off. Okay, now let's consider planning building a, a building a website. Okay, so now we're in the process of direct and manage project work. So let's say for example, we have planned uh, to build this website. We have we know what is the scope we had. Uh, then we also know what is the duration we need to complete the work. And we have also had a team now, we have acquired a team. The team is kind of working on the project. Okay, so what are these guys working to produce, right? What are they trying to do? They're trying to produce the deliverables, right? So based on the project plan, everybody is working and now they're trying to produce the deliverables, okay? So the deliverables could be like the using of the website, if you're an agile project, or you can have a check every sprint after every two weeks or every three weeks sprint, whatever the duration of a sprint, you can have the checks done. Now, when you're uh, checking this deliverables, what are we trying to do? We are trying to gather data, right? So we are gathering work performance data, like how many of the test cases pass, uh, who is a good performer, who's not performer, uh, what got delayed, what got done faster, which estimation was right, which was not right, how many defects are there, would this defect have been stopped, did we kind of have a proper acceptance criteria, did we detail the stories, right? We're trying to collect a lot of data, a lot of work performance data is collected over here, just to understand the kind of work period. So just gathering a lot of data based on the work that's happening, okay? So all this data is captured in check sheets, right? So you're gonna kind of check the data, analyze it later on. So just gathering a lot of data based on the work that's happening. Okay, in direct and managed project work. So when trying to produce deliverables, a lot of data is being captured, okay? Now, in this process, we also kind of want to work on some of the previously approved changes or some corrective actions or preventive actions or the repairs. Like for example, uh, corrective actions could be like, for example, uh, there are some issues that things are not working out. You send for re rework and then you kind of address that as a corrective action that doesn't need to change the quest. And also, uh, uh, some preventive actions like you can uh, ensure that we have the uh, stories that's going to be done properly, people understand the stories properly, right? And then after that, we have some team training to be done. So, sort of preventive actions you can take care, right? And defect repairs, like any defects or reverse also can be addressed over here. So, all these changes can be implemented, but all these changes don't need a change request, uh, like from the performance degree change control because the baselines are not getting changed, okay? So again, these changes are approved, so we'll implement these changes. So this action can also be done in this group, uh, in this process, direct and manage project work, okay? So that's also one of the things we're trying to do here. And then once a lot of work is getting done, so we kind of update a lot of uh, project uh, documents and the project management plan on how the work is getting done, okay? Now, let's say, you want to, now there's a new, say a new change request that comes in, right? Now you have, to, uh, that also becomes an input to this. So approve changes to your, for corrective actions, preventive actions becomes an input again to direct manage project work. And then you all work on the new change request that came in. So all of this work is being done to, on this website development, right? Remember what you're trying to do. Or uh, let's say people came back and say, you want to change the color of the website or some buttons move from here to there. So all those are corrective actions, right? Uh, let's say uh, the page is not loading fast or there's a page is not working. Those are defect requests. You want to address all of those at the same time, okay? Um, so these are some of the uh, actions we are going to do in the direct and manage project work. To summarize that, all in all, it's one coordinated effort to uh, deliver the project. Based on the project management plan, you want to achieve the plan, produce deliverables, right? Gather work performance data. I just told you how you're gathering data and what all the things you're gathering the data. Request changes, any of the actions that you want to take. Complete work from resulting changes, right? So whatever change is running, again, comes as an input. Again, you work on those changes. Improve the work, improve efficiency, uh, improve the skills of the team, right? You want to do all of these things. Then manage the team. There's a big team. You have to manage the team. Or Then keep an eye on all knowledge areas. Scope issues can result in impact to quality and human resource management. Okay, so these things are all should be taken care. Of. So that's that's the overall summary of the direct and managed project work. Okay, 
the key benefit of this process is that it provides overall management of the project work okay so it provides you an overall management of how it works and this is the day in and day out after initial planning is done after your uh, discovery is done or after your uh, sprint plan is done this is, these are the remaining uh, nine nine or ten days on the sprint you have right so let's say first half day of the sprint you talk about the planning and rest uh, nine and a half days you're working on this this is a direct managed project you're doing it so a lot of things happen over here okay so input tools and techniques as i told you the details the process of performing work defined in the project management <laughs> just take a pointer okay define in the project management plan to achieve the project's objective right so it's part of the execution process group so what are the inputs i told you the project management plan itself guides you what needs to be done any component of the project management could be scope management plan could be the uh, schedule management plan communication management plan so all these things are present here for project documents that are change log, what are the changes uh, requested that we have captured a change log can be an input to this group. Lessons learned, register like what we did historically uh, for this kind of project, what have we done in the past, that also becomes an input. Milestone list, very important. When do you want to deliver something like if the milestone is for UAT deployment and you need to close two sprints before that, that becomes as an input. Project communications, like how often would you communicate, what are the weekly status reports, or the uh, steer for meetings, or the uh, team meetings that you want to do, right? Then, requirement traceable matrix as a source of requirements, what are you going to work upon is also an input. Risk register, let's say if there was a risk, it was not mitigated, right? And uh, uh, might become an issue to mitigate the risk that will become an input to this particular direct and managed project work, right? So also you see so the different sources of work that's coming in, right? Right, approve change request, then organize and run factors and all the process as such. So these are also inputs for this. Now, the tools and techniques are using here is expert judgment. Uh, we are using then project management information system. Now, I would like to stress up on this point over. So uh, project management information system is important for your PMI examination. It is a system that is used by an organization to manage projects, so right, uh, which will also has a subsystem called work authorization system, where you authorize a work to just to ensure that you're not having a double uh, Two people working at the same time, same thing. That's one thing. You're not. You're ensuring that nobody's sitting idle with the work authorization system. It is a system that is used to authorize. That is the work authorization system. Remember that, okay? So if I have to write it down over here, let me just give you. Okay. Uh, okay. That's work authorization system. Okay. This is a subset of the project management system. Okay. Project. PMI project management system. Okay, both are important. This could be your PMS, could be your Salesforce tool. It means you have, have the entire data about the project, about the customer, about the margins. Everything is there over the time sheets, everything's in the PMIS, right? And then your work authoring system could be a part of it wherein you are saying, okay, fine, uh, project is authorized. People are on the project, the, the, the time sheets are ready. So, the number of asked to burn is ready. So, you authorize the work and start getting things done. Okay. So, that's about the work authorization system and project management system. That's a very important tool and technique for uh, this process. Please remember that. So, what are the outputs of this? Uh, our so meetings are there, just for meeting people are getting the work done. So, outputs are like deliverables, work performance data, as I told you, issue logs, when the issues are coming, you capture the logs. Change requests, any changes are coming to change request, project management plan updates, any component of the plan could be updated. Project document updates, activity list, assumption log, lessons learned register, requirements documentation, this is the stakeholder register. So all these things could get updated because these things 